getting my ribs removed has always been like a, a dream of mine. Six billion people in the world. What should everyone look the same for? Pixie Fox has had six ribs removed to allow her to corset her waist to an eye-watering 16 inches. So far, she has spent almost $120,000 on surgery to look more like the cartoon characters she idolizes. I've always been inspired by cartoons and Disney movies. All the curves and tiny waists. People often they come up to me and say, like, don't take this the wrong way, but you look like a cartoon. For me, that's a compliment. Can you breathe? Oh my god. Well, I wish I could get mine that small. Pixie grew up in a small town in Sweden, but never felt like she belonged. I have been in a place where I felt like I can't relate, I can't be myself, and I felt really, really lost. I always felt like I need to go somewhere, I need to do something, I need to surround myself with people that is like me. The former electrician moved to America, where she embarked on a series of cosmetic procedures to look more like her favourite animated characters. My inspiration started with Tinkerbell, because I looked really much like her, but later through my transformation, I've been more and more starting to look like Jessica Rabbit. There are so many people out there, like, for example, transsexual people, they feel like one person inside and it doesn't reflect their outside. And for me, this is not who I am on the inside. I have done a uh, nose job, uh, eyelid surgery, brow lift. I have done I have lip filler. I have some, um, some fillers here in my cheeks. I've done my boobs four times. And I've done Brazilian butt lift, permanent makeup. To maintain her extreme hourglass figure, she sticks to a strict exercise and diet regime and wears a corset 24 hours a day. Pixie has over 70,000 followers on Instagram, but even some of them were shocked when she announced her next surgery, removal of six ribs to allow her to corset her waist even tighter. The procedure will cost her $9,000. Getting my ribs removed, I have been thinking about it for a long time. So it's always been like a, a dream of mine, but it's really hard to find a surgeon, almost impossible. The only reason why I can do it now is because doctors finally started taking me seriously because they see that I'm not a crazy person. I, I know what I'm doing. The surgeon who's agreed to perform the operation is Dr. Barry Epley. There's nothing complex, extraordinary, or unduly difficult about it. Uh, it does require an extremely motivated patient, and I think certainly Pixie would qualify. A motivated patient is somebody who can accept the scars that come from the procedure, as well as is prepared for the discomfort in the short term, as you might imagine, that comes from taking several rips. Uh, it's not an operation which feels great afterwards, but certainly she's about as motivated a person as you're going to find. She's going to have pain, muscle pain. Everybody who's ever eaten ribs, you're eating the intercostal muscles. That's what we have to strip off the rib to get to it. But the good news is we know, you know, it's not a comfortable procedure, but we know how to help manage it. Rib number three, let me know. After five hours of surgery, the rib removal procedure is complete. It's crazy. I can't believe that just happened. Did that just happen? Recovery time is supposed to be six weeks, but after just two weeks, Pixie is already up and about. I am super happy. I've been dreaming of this for like three years. That makes me able to corset like even tighter. In a few weeks, I'm gonna get hip and butt implants. So it's gonna be even more extreme. Now, when she wears a corset, her waist is an incredible 16 inches. Oh yeah. I'm pretty close to the world record and I think that if I just get time to heal and start work out and continue my lifestyle, I'm probably gonna go down to 14 inch soon. I think 15 is the word record. And she's proud to show off her new figure in public. <laughs> I show my kids. Amazing and incredible, beautiful. You don't really see too many people have their bodies looking like that. It's a little odd. It's not something I would choose to do. I mean, to each his own, but it seems painful. It got my attention. I came back. <laughs> I'm really happy with how I look now. 
but I still see things that could be fixed. This is like my job, this is what I do, and I'm gonna keep on sculpturing. <laughs> Tons of people who write me every day is really inspired with what I do and they wish that they could do the same. I don't want to inspire people to get plastic surgery. What I want to do is to get like a message out there that it's important to whatever you decide to do that you should follow your dreams and dare to be yourself.